Okay, ladies. Okay, Ariana. We're ready to start applying the makeup. Can't wait. I know. Have all your products ready to start your makeup application. Okay. Most Belocho systems come with four foundations, an anti-aging primer, a blush, a bronzer, and a highlighter. You know I love to hear anti-aging. That's right. We're turning back the clocks. It's everything you need to always look your best. Let's get started. Great. So what we're going to do is apply the anti-aging primer. Make sure you shake up your bottle. This blends the product so it's distributed evenly. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put about two drops. We're going to start with two drops in there. We're going to hit our compressor on button and we're going to go to the highest speed. And we're just going to start priming our skin. Okay. And again, small circles. And the primer is a hydrator, so it allows your skin to be moisturized as well as providing the canvas to apply the airbrush makeup. Now, is this going to help my makeup stay on longer? This will. This will give you those long-lasting effects of the makeup. Great. As well as you can spray this at night before bed and it hydrates and moisturizes your skin as you sleep. Ooh, two in one. I love That's it. That's right. Two in one. Making it easy. Once you have that all done, you can go ahead and spray the remaining out. And we're going to get ready to start our foundation. So we're going to go ahead and turn off our compressor and we're going to collect, select our color shade. So we're going to go ahead and find the shade that works for us. Now I know when I was looking through the shades, I'm actually a mix of two of them. How do I do that? I'm so glad you mentioned that. So I'm going to show you how if you find that you are not just one shade, you're going to go ahead and you're going to blend two shades together. Okay. First let's test to see if we're one shade. We're going to go ahead and put this onto our fingertip. And we're just going to swipe the side of our cheek to see if it's a blend. And if it disappears, it's a match. Okay. Now, if for any reason it doesn't disappear because with the season, you know, skin changes, we can go ahead and we can blend two colors. Okay. We're going to take two of the shades that you're closest. We're going to go ahead and open those up. Make sure you shake them. Put your other color. Mm-hmm. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit the on button. Okay. We're going to put it on low. Okay. We're slowly going to cover the tip of the airbrush stylus and we're going to slightly pull back the trigger. You'll see it creates a bubbling effect. Ooh, uh-huh. Do you see that? I do, yeah. Okay, so what you're going to go ahead and do is once you get that done, you just start applying. So that's it, blended? That's it, blended and sync. So go ahead and apply yours and I'll apply mine. Great, custom right. color right here. That's right, custom color. And again, just small, even circles. You can actually adjust the speeding for your foundation to medium. It's best to use that. And you see how even it applies the makeup? Oh wow, it's already covering my blemishes. That's right, Belocho makes it so easy to do that in seconds. And remember with airbrush, less is more. And you can start with the sheer layer and work your way up. And right before your eyes, you can see the blending and the even tone to your skin. You know what I love about this is it still looks like me. It looks like skin. It's radiant, it's bright. I don't feel like I'm covering up the life of my skin that's with a ton true. of makeup. That's right, and that's because Belocio enhances what you already have. Okay. Kind of nice, huh? I love it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and finish our foundation. You'll start to notice when the foundation is out, when you start to hear the product run out, okay. you'll no longer feel the spray. Grab a tissue. If that's the color you're going for and that's the sheer coverage you want, you can definitely stop there. If not, you could add another layer on. Okay, and how long should I wait on this layer before I do the next layer? I would say waiting a few minutes in between layers. Okay. And then you can move on to another one. 